Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain that why rectangular beams are more preferred in construction as compared to the circular beams. So here we see there is a rectangular cross section of the beam, or square maybe, and here we will see we see here the circular cross section of the beam. So why we prefer mostly the rectangular section of the beam rather than that of the circular cross section of the beam. So here if I explain with a simple beam, so for example this is a simply supported beam and there is a load acting on this beam. So due to this load P, the beam will deflect and it will show some bending stresses in this way. So we will have maximum movement here at the beam here and maximum deflection. So there is a maximum bending movement. So if we look to the bending stress equation, we know that bending stress is equal to the m y divided by i. I hope you you know this equation from bending stresses. That bending stresses, this is the bending stresses. Bending stresses are equal to the m y divided by i, where i is movement. For example, we want to find out the stresses at midpoint. So we have maximum movement. So this is the movement value at where you at which point you want to find out the stresses. So you should know the value of moment at that point and this is y, y if this is your beam cross section rectangular. So it is the distance from neutral axis till to the point where you want to find out the stresses and uh, in circular section it is also from neutral axis up to the point where you want to find out the stresses. And i is the moment of inertia. Now for example, we have a rectangular cross section and also a circular cross section and in both beams we have the same moment at any point and we want to find the stresses also at the same y point. So for example these both are same for the rectangular beam and also for circular cross section. So now what is bending stresses depends. So it depends only on the moment of inertia. If we fix this value for two beams so the bending stresses will be equal to the 1 over moment of inertia. It means that bending stresses is in worse relation with that of the it is in worse relation with that of the moment of inertia. 1 divided by moment of inertia. So it means if the moment of inertia of beam is increasing so what happens? The bending stresses are decreasing. When bending stresses are decreasing so what we do? We provide less reinforcement in our beam section. Similarly, if the moment of inertia of the beam is decreasing, our bending stresses are increasing and we have to increase the reinforcement area in our beam. So it is in worse relation the bending stresses with that of the moment of inertia. And we know that for the same cross section, if for example this rectangular and circular beam cross section, they have the same cross sectional area their area is same, this area and this area is same, but still the moment of inertia of the rectangular cross section is always greater than that of the circular cross section. So due to this reason, due to the higher moment of inertia of this rectangular cross section, what we see, we will have less bending stresses in the rectangular cross section as compared to that of the circular cross section, the bending stresses and circular cross section. So this is the main reason that the because of the lower moment of inertia of the circular cross section we always choose the rectangular cross section because it is a higher moment of inertia and it shows lower bending stresses so we provide less moment of less the reinforcement and that's why we can we can do an economical design of the beam. And the other reason is because of the poor form work. We cannot provide the good form work for the circular beams in comparison to that of the rectangular cross section. For example, if this is a beam, there is a slab, and here we provide the beam, T beam. So here there is a rectangular, so we provide easily the form work for this rectangular beam. But for circular, if this is in a circular beam, so it is difficult to provide the form work for this circular beam. 
So that's another reason that because of uh, the poor form work for the circular cross section, we prefer the rectangular beam. But this is not the major reason. The major reason is that the, due to the higher moment of inertia of the rectangular cross section, we prefer to use the rectangular beam comparison to that of the circular beam. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.